knowledge and expertise and knowledge uh, for their upgrading their knowledge also. Eh? So this is a very good engagement between education setting and training setting towards the services side. Eh? Uh, that's why that is what also lacking lah in our mechanism. Sometimes kita buat kita ikut suka kita kan. Kita kena tengok juga lah what is the needs uh, from the uh, service side. Okay, this is the system. So before I begin, let me log out first. Okay, the system is very simple. When you uh, register, you will have your username and password. Okay, uh, but if I can suggest uh, to my KP or any uh, uh, higher rank officer over here, please suggest to PPL to change the, the way you make the metric number. It's not very, it's not very easy lah. That is my humble opinion. Lah. Why? Because uh, if you study somewhere in your university also before, there are no something acronym in front, right? It's just number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 3, 3, 2, 1. You do not know what is that. So, in the end of the day, uh, we can track you uh, with program and so on. So, I think that is one of the improvement lah, that I will suggest if uh, if I will be given the opportunity to suggest because uh, it's make our system easier to detect anything. Eh? Okay, so this is the the layout so the layout is very simple actually and then um, inside the site menu or site home we can have a, this is the ad, uh, administrator account i'm very very sorry for the display because the display uh, are not very very uh, clever so i'm so sorry not very clever eh? oh, i think i'm using the wrong word not very good okay so we have here a lot of um, program that already oh sorry this is called course okay kita ada course and then i'm going to share with you my course okay this is my course kpeb uh, epidemiology and biostatistics and then under our course we have the workspace so this is our workspace so the beautiful part of the lms such as model it can help you to um, to simulate or to change your status from teacher to students. That's mean when you are a teacher, you're still a teacher, but you can uh, transform yourself into a student menu so that you can see what the student can see. Uh, so there is no argument lah. That student say, oh, I do not have the link. Oh, I cannot access it. Oh, uh, I cannot see it unless the student are not set so uh, conscious lah about uh, all this uh, procedure. Okay, so how to do that is actually you just turn editing on. Okay, this is just a simple quick demo and then you can add activity or resources. Okay, uh, activity and resources is actually being divided into few. Uh, for your information, I already upgraded this uh, system early this morning just to give you some idea that we can uh, put also some sort of gamification. You know gamification? Oh, you do not know. You know game? Game, ah. maknanya interaction with the game uh, for a certain course sometimes it's very useful for you to test the knowledge and understanding of the students. So gamification also can be integrated inside the system because it is using the plugin. So you have a plugin uh, that been created around the world uh, under the GitHub uh, and also under the Moodle uh, conference. Also they have shared all of this uh, plugin that you can retrieve it, install it freely. Uh, okay. And then after that, you may want to choose what kind of activities that you are trying to do with your students. So we have activities or we have resources here. So resources more towards uh, reading materials, video and whatsoever that you want to share to make them understand the topic and contents that you want to share them. And activities is more towards that you want to get the engagement. That's why when you do um, online learning, it's not just you give the student email of your notes and then ask them to read. Uh, that is wrong. Okay? Uh, but some, some of us may understand like that, but actually it's not. You need to scrutinize those notes into the interactive manner so that the students can uh, benefit from that content and understand, uh, especially the objective. Okay, after that, uh, you can see here we have, uh, okay, I'm just going to share with you one idea. Okay, we have, we have the attendance and this attendance also is very secure and it's already only being locked for a certain period of time. In fact, in my class, during a physical class also, we do like this. That's mean it is only, it's only open for that particular time, for that particular um, space time. So when I go, I can just check the attendance uh, and then go to the view all responses and then check lah the details over here, non-respondent, who are not responding my uh, details or my questions. So I can know lah 
berapa banyak student tak hadir kan ha. Lepas tu saya boleh tengok manually lah Betul tak betul, cukup tak cukup orang dan sebagainya Alright, so that is the idea And then the the best thing about when you using the LMS It is already being stored Dia direkodkan secara terus di dalam server So you have two option You have your own data that you can download as CSV, Excel, whatsoever file that you want And then the data also is being recorded into a server That's why you can also retrieve it back to make a further analysis Okay, contoh attendance ni So we can actually generate the PDF report So that's why our program trying to uh, verge into this uh, venture lah Maknanya yang penting attendance tu dia ambil dan boleh direkodkan dan boleh dibuktikan That is the gist of the attendance In the end of the day you don't want to uh, trouble yourself And then in fact you can also download uh, You want to study kan, let's say you want to know uh, How many millisecond the student enter uh, this attendance also you can lah That one is called analytics lah, you want to explore more And then in fact, each of the content also, we provide the lecture evaluation. So every time the lecture giving and finish their topics or subtopics, uh, the students have been giving an opportunity to comment uh, for the lecture uh, performance. So this is very useful, especially for appraisal and for future improvement for the content. So I usually got not more than five, lah. Uh, not more than four, pun. I got three, four, three, four, but Uh, students don't like me so much, eh? okay? But I believe majority of uh, female lecturer because you are so beautiful. That's why it is uh, kind of bias. Eh? <laughs> Just kidding. Eh? All right. So actually, I can download this um, um, uh, questionnaire or I can download these responses from my students, and then I can further analyze. That's why. Um, in in some of the videos that I shared before uh, in the YouTube channels, we also can analyze what is the perception, what is the uh, subjectivity that the students comment to us that we can highlight. For example, student akan uh, talk about, okay, you speak so loud, okay, you speak so uh, glaring, okay, I cannot understand you, uh, whatsoever lah. So that kind of input is very important for pengajar to make some improvement, okay? So that is the example. Uh, for the learners and also lecturer sign okay uh, some of the content that i would like to share with you uh, give me permission eh? so for my colleague who are observing this uh, video after this please uh, allow me to share because it's just a, a common sharing okay this is the the idea eh? so the teacher actually can set up into this kind of complexity complexity ni maknanya Cikgu ni sangat detail sampai dia boleh buat nak bagi faham tu sebenarnya kitaran hidrogeologi je. How the water can be dissipated and evaporated into the sky and then condensate become raining and then is deposit into the surface runoff and then cycle back and so on. Uh, dia nak tunjukkan kat sini. So it's a complete process and the student need to be uh, able to insert the question. Dia ada buat macam quiz lah and then the, the teacher can mark it accordingly. Uh, usually, what I did, I will mark it using automation. Maknanya, I will ask the computer with uh, marking for me. Because in the end of the day, I'm teaching the student epidemiology and biostatistics. As long as you get the idea how to do this, how to do that, that's mean you copy that already. Uh, itu adalah contoh. So, don't burden your student actually with a lot of um, pelik-pelik punya assignment. Nah. That's why sometimes gamification also can help you give uh, uh, evaluations to your student's understanding. Eh? Okay, um, that is the idea about the learners and also the um, teacher side. And then I'm just going to dive in into one example before I open for question and answer. You can ask any question after this actually. Um, the most important part uh, that I'm going to share with you is more towards the... I'm so sorry also because the internet sometimes because I'm using the tethering. So it depends on the uh, connection outside there lah. Because I can saw that the menara is already pulled off eh, yesterday. So some of the wave uh, may be dissipated away lah. Alright, um, contoh dekat sini, uh, example, under this uh, LMS, we have the EH program. Okay, this is the LMS for um, KP, Ketua Teras and our lecturer. So that's mean it's our interaction to share something. And then all these things, okay, the best about this LMS eh, All this module eh, yang tuan-tuan dan puan lihat ni that you see just now is actually can be exported, imported, you can give to your friend, your friend can have it and then make changes and then you can save it by your own and then you want to use it next year, you can change a little bit 
and then you can give to uh, your managers and then your managers can vet uh, all the things is very very robust and very good lah and then inside dekat sini pun kita ada e certificate that only can be generated if you fulfill a certain criteria so that is a very good about this uh, LMS and in fact one of the another part that i would like to share with you is their question bank okay you can have question bank over here and then this particular question bank also we can uh, grade the question bank eh, according to the tag for example soalan sederhana soalan mudah soalan aplikasi soalan apa benda pun yang um, that's that you are trying to do for example this uh, uh, question is about the uh, kecenderungan memusat mct measurement of central tendency so we can filter by tag and so on i cannot show the detail because um, of the secrecy eh? all right so that is the idea this is under the system administration okay so before i i got another two minutes before i open for question and answer you can ask any question that you like and if you feel shy you can also ask a question online okay you want to ask online so can okay so this is my um lecturer account so when you are lecturer or you are instructor, you are dedicated to a specific subject. So that's why you can focus. So in my case, I am only teaching student for KPEB, Epidemiology by Statistics and Environmental Hygiene or Environmental Exposure Assessment. <coughs> and also another um, advanced diploma courses. However, uh, we are trying to merge our um, advanced diploma LMS into our own LMS. Lah. Our advanced diploma LMS actually under this under under another website that will be transferred soon. Okay, that is just to give you information. Lah. Right. So um, with that, I think I should give you opportunity to um, ask any questions with regard to this uh, LMS. Please welcome. Yes, silakan Puan. Puan Sir. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. 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 Apa nama platform dia? Sorry, point. 